Hold your breath as the James Webb Telescope shatters our cosmic expectations. Witness the mind-boggling discovery of seven massive structures at the edge of the observable universe. Get ready to have your perception of the cosmos forever transformed. Brace yourself for a journey into the unknown, where the unimaginable becomes reality. When scientists first discovered primordial galaxies at the edge of the cosmos, they believed it was simply not possible. The first reasonable explanation that emerged was that it is very possible for closer galaxies to pass for very distant galaxies, so they studied these galaxies and shared the data with scientists all over the world. The result was what they were hoping against hope for, yes, the galaxies are very real, and there is no anomaly there at all. Not only is it showing us a different view of the universe, but it has also clapped eyes on the most ancient galaxies ever observed. Astronomers are now confident that the light from these galaxies has been traveling to Earth for over 13.4 billion years. The results show that these galaxies inhabited the universe when it was less than 350 million years old and demonstrate the rapid emergence of the first generations of galaxies. Seeing the spectrum revealed as we hoped confirms these galaxies as being at the true edge of our view, some further away than Hubble could see. It is a tremendously exciting achievement for the mission, but why was it so crucial to prove that these galaxies do indeed inhabit the early universe? First of all, the discovery confirms Webb's ability to perform one of its most important tasks, studying the early universe via light that has been traveling for so long that the expansion of the universe has stretched its wavelength. This stretching of light is called redshift. The longer the light travels, the further toward the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum the expansion of the universe shifts its light. This means that redshift can be used as a measure of distance, and that early galaxies should have light displaying extreme redshifts, with their light stretched all the way into the infrared range, which is the JWST specialty. When researchers analyzed the data from Webb's near-infrared camera and near-infrared spectrograph instrument, they found that four out of the six galaxies do indeed have extreme redshifts. They came to this conclusion because the presence of these galaxies urges us to build something more powerful than Webb and see if the Big Bang occurred when we think it did. This discovery has shaken the foundation of our cosmology. The cosmos is currently approximately 13.4 billion years old. The telltale signature of heavy elements like carbon means that JWST is seeing them as they were when the universe was just 300 to 500 million years old. According to current cosmology, the universe is around 8 billion years old. The period of reionization, when gas and dust started to gather to form stars and proto-galaxies, commenced 400 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. There shouldn't be such well-formed galaxies only 500 million years after the Big Bang, as observed by Webb, because this process is thought to have taken a few million years for the universe to come into being as we see it today. What exactly is going on here? Scientists have already started to panic as they attempt to fit these galaxies into the current model of cosmological inflation, but the Big Bang theory, as ambitious as it is, has a few flaws. Firstly, the Big Bang violates the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be converted from one form to another. We have no idea what caused the Big Bang. Secondly, we have no idea how our universe suddenly emerged from the Dark Ages during the epoch of reionization. And now we are finding galaxies that, in cosmic terms, are almost as old as the Big Bang itself. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. The new findings build on previous research where scientists reported that, despite coming from the very beginnings of the universe, the galaxies were as mature as our own Milky Way. A new paper has appeared to confirm those findings by stress-testing the galaxies to better understand how they formed. It suggests that if scientists have not made a mistake, we may be missing some fundamental information about the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way, with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. They should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy and are only half a billion years old. 
Something is wrong in the universe that supports the Big Bang theory, like the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is thought to be the leftover radiation from the Big Bang. The pattern of this radiation matches what is predicted by the Big Bang theory. Then there is also the fact that the universe is expanding and how observations have shown that distant galaxies are indeed moving away from us, and the farther away they are, the faster they are moving. The abundance of light elements like hydrogen, helium, and lithium in the universe also matches the predictions of the Big Bang theory. Taken together, these lines of evidence strongly support the idea that the universe started with a Big Bang. However, web data has changed the epoch of all of that. As of making this video, NASA tweeted about finding a galaxy cluster of seven galaxies with a redshift of seven, nine, or a mere 650 million years after the Big Bang, based on the data collected, Astronomers calculated the nascent cluster's future development, finding that it will likely grow in size and mass to resemble the Coma Cluster, a monster of the modern universe. This is a very special, unique site of accelerated galaxy evolution, and Webb gave us the unprecedented ability to measure the velocities of these seven galaxies and confidently confirm that they are bound together in a proto-cluster. We can see these distant galaxies like small drops of water in different rivers, and we can see that eventually, they will all become part of one big mighty river," said a NASA scientist. In other words, what we thought about the Big Bang is not quite adding up. Is it? More web data will reveal a plethora of evidence that can make or break the Big Bang. Or who knows, maybe the Big Bang did happen, but what triggered it is a different story altogether. Like Newton's laws of gravity, they were not wrong, they were just a subset of Einstein's general relativity. Whatever it is, we will have to wait, but the solution might appear sooner than we anticipate. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the cosmos. The James Webb Telescope has once again left us in awe with its groundbreaking discoveries. Today, we've learned that it has uncovered seven massive structures lurking at the edge of the observable universe, shedding light on the mysterious depths of space. These colossal structures, hidden within the tapestry of the cosmos, hold the secrets of our universe's evolution. They stretch beyond our imagination, spanning billions of light years, and are filled with galaxies, stars, and perhaps even unknown phenomena that can reshape our understanding of reality. We invite you to be part of this cosmic exploration. Like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest discoveries and scientific breakthroughs. Together, we can journey deeper into the cosmos, uncovering its hidden marvels and expanding our collective understanding of the universe we call home.